Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Manuel Gatafernandez and you're watching Sound Advice. So when it comes to tapping harmonics, um, the first thing I would suggest is to find the right pickup placement. Um, for me, I like the middle position. In my opinion, you get the, more, the, the better sound out of it um, when it comes to sustain, sustain and um, yeah, the, the high precise kind of kind of note. So it's up to you, um, whatever you prefer the most. Um, so the most important part about tapping harmonics is to be very precise about it because um, this tone or this technique is so vulnerable that it's very hard to um, get the right note and the right tone um, out of it. So um, you wanna really hit the one on the octave the right way um, when it comes to tapping harmonics you don't want to really pull the strings otherwise you get like a normal tap sound you just want to hit slightly the octave So let's start with the first note, it's uh, a B on the 8th string, 2nd fret. Want to hit the octave. So be really precise when it comes to like the whole tapping thing. And then you get the right note out of it. So let's do my vibretto, vibretto. Um, Actually, um, a lot of people asked me how to create this weird sounding, very short, distinguished vibrato tone. Um, because a lot of people said it almost sounds like that it's sped up. Um, actually, I just wanted to imitate a um, Asian sounding violin called the Erhu. Um, I really like that because it has like this very traditional Asian sounding tone to it. And um, um, it's the vibratos of the air horse sound so fast, but very well phrased. And I wanted to imitate this on the guitar because sometimes a very fast vibrato doesn't sound good, um, especially when it comes to rock or blues or whatever. Um, but I just wanted to try it out and I think it sounds pretty, pretty good sometimes especially when you do um, tapping licks in between, like that. So what I do with my left hand is um, I vibrate with three fingers and um, I do my hand slightly to the left like that to get this right tension and to go very fast. And so, um, yeah, what is also like a big contrast to it when I do the tapping figures is that I have no phrasing at all with my right hand like this. So the contrast is really hard on that one. So you got like the non-phrasing on the right hand and the very fast vibrato on the left hand. The vibrato on the left hand sounds more harder than I would just do like by itself. Mm -hmm. 